Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Abattoir Blues and the Liar of Orpheus. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds album Abattoir Blues and the Liar of Orpheus is a double album released in 2004. Abattoir Blues is the first disc of the album and it features a raw, energetic sound with a mix of rock and blues influences. The songs on this disc deal with themes of violence and death as well as uh, love and redemption. The Liar of Orpheus is the second disc and it features a more subdued and introspective sound with a mix of folk and art rock influences. The songs on this disc deal with themes of love, loss and the power of art and storytelling. Just like Nick Cave usually does. Together the two discs on the album showcase the diverse range of styles and themes that Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds are capable of exploring. So this is a very interesting album actually. Um, this is a very interesting cover. You can see that it's covered in a probably linen cloth. It's very very well done. The outside of this, it's not exactly mint. Um, it, it's very susceptible to, you know, handling. You can see that it's probably ungluing a little bit here. But in any way, it's, it's really good. It's actually really good. It's a great feeling to have it in my hands. It, it works. It just works. Look at, at all the details. It's, it's very cool. Uh, just two pictures on uh, the cover. One and there you go, the other one. This is coming undone a little bit, but it's fine. It's just fine. Let's let's look inside and let's find out what's special about it. So let's start with, as usual, with the booklet. And here it is. This is probably one of the best booklets that I have because it's so clean, so beautiful. There's a dedication on the back. These are the musicians and the producer and obviously the uh, CD reference. As you can see, it's a double album and it's mentioned all around. It's always Abattoir Blues, The Liar of Orpheus. It's one album, but it's double. This is something that is very important for the musicians. This is part of the same artistic um, outcome. It's just different in what it comes uh, to the style of music in one CD or the other, but these go hand in hand. It's not, you cannot find Avatar Blues on sale just by itself or The Liar of Orpheus just by itself. Uh, so, first pages we can see the list of songs, and then this is so clean, so good very very well printed this is a very thick uh, cardboard very thick well not cardboard but but paper it's a thick paper almost cardboard it serves a very 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 good support for uh, the pictures obviously <laughs> obviously as usual Nick Cave and uh, the bad seeds very artistic but very very clean look at at the fonts so good so good in fact so the first one is the first half of the booklet it's the abattoir blues and then we start looking at um, the liar of orpheus there you go and all the songs if you're a fan of a sing-alongs you can see here the lyrics are very very readable very good booklet indeed in the last page, as usually, we can see um, the list of musicians. Uh, we can see the technical specs of the CD uh, and everything that has to do with the edition. 2004, <laughs> telephone numbers and everything. It is really good. Uh, this album actually has um, features some interesting uh, musicians. Uh, for example, the song Hiding All Away features Warren Ellis on the viola and the violin, and Breathless features uh, Mick Harvey um, on the piano. Uh, there She Goes, My Beautiful World, uh, 
is a very good song also I love it it's one of the ones that I like the most of this album it has the chamber the Australia uh, chamber orchestra is very good so this particular edition um, lacks something that other editions had but let's talk about that later let's look inside the the CDs uh, this is a very good cardboard envelope as you can see uh, very solid protects the CD very well and again very very elegant each one of the CDs has the same or very close color to the cover and the printing quality is actually really really good you can see it here in the reflection so it actually works very very well this one is the lyre of orpheus let's look at abattoir blues track list it's pink and obviously it's pink again very very careful carefully printed it's just amazing it's one of those CDs that it's it's very good to have uh, in my collection well what's so special about uh, other editions is not this one unfortunately but on the O children track there was a hidden track but it's not a normally hidden track usually tracks in CDs are hidden by not um, adding the track and uh, continuing the song uh, so instead of for example they say O Children has uh, two minutes is in fact a four minute song and in the end you just have to skip forward um, or uh, move forward in the song to get to the end of it and listen to the last song so it's not actually a hard track on the CD you cannot select it as a track of the CD this one it's very different actually the song supernaturally was actually at the beginning of the song oh children so if you wanted to hear uh, supernaturally you had to select track 8 and then rewind rewind the track and that would give you access to the supernaturally song this edition is not like that those were the first editions uh, I'd say non-special this is obviously a special edition uh, as you can see it's very well done so there you go Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds I have I think one more by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds they are a very artistic band Nick Cave is a very artsy person conceptual person so it's normal that we would have this kind of uh, edition so there you go i hope you enjoyed it as usual like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this it will be my pleasure to continue making uh, videos like that thank you